Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hi, Calvary. Amber here with your word for the day. Today we're looking at the Beatitudes and we're looking at Matthew 5, 7. And it says, Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. See, mercy is a fruit of a life transformed by Jesus Christ. It's a mark of a true follower of Jesus. And it is a byproduct of us loving Jesus. Mercy was a requirement um, for following God in the Old Testament. And a lot of times it was referring to when the people were supposed to take care of the poor, the helpless, the widows, and the orphans. And when the people chose not to follow God's way and show mercy to people, they received God's judgment. And that's the same for us today. And we're going to look at a couple passages in the New Testament that talk about this. The first one is in James 2. And in verse 13, it says, For judgment is without mercy to the one who has shown no mercy. Mercy triumphs over judgment. And then in Matthew 18, Jesus is telling this parable about this servant who owes his master millions of dollars and he can't repay and he's going to be thrown into prison and his family is going to be sold as slaves to pay his debt. And he begs his master to show him mercy and his master forgives all his debts and he's completely clean. He has no debts and he goes out and finds a friend who owes him a couple hundred dollars and he says, you have to pay it and his friend can't pay it, and he asks for mercy, and he says no, and he throws him into prison. And when the master finds out what his servant did, he's not happy. And this is what he says in Matthew 18, starting in verse 32. He says, Then his master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you all that debt because you pleaded with me. And should you not have shown mercy to your fellow servant as I had mercy on you? And in anger, his master delivered him to the jailers until he should pay all his debt. So also my heavenly father will do to every one of you if you do not forgive your brother from your heart. See, we have received the ultimate mercy from God from escaping eternal suffering and hell and separation from God. And God has forgiven all of our sin and our slate is wiped clean. And if we are followers of Jesus and have that life-changing relationship with him, then we must reflect his character to the world. And that includes mercy. See, a transformed heart results in life change. And that results in us representing Jesus to the world. And we have to offer the same forgiveness and the same mercy that we have received from Jesus. And I hear a lot of people talk about how well, that person doesn't deserve mercy. But guess what? I don't deserve mercy and neither do you. But God chose to give us his mercy anyway. And because we don't deserve God's mercy, but he gives it to us anyway, we need to give mercy to others, even though they don't deserve it. And so I have some questions um, that I want us to evaluate our life and see, are we living a life of mercy? So the first one is, do you like to punish people by giving them the cold shoulder or not talking to them um, or ignoring them because of something that they did to you or said to you? Could anyone punish them for that? That's not living mercifully. Or if you see homeless people or people who are hungry, do you look at them with compassion and want to help them? Or do you say, well, it's because of their bad choices in life that put them in their situation and it's not my responsibility to help them? That kind of heart is not merciful. God could have looked at us and been like, well, their sinful choices put them in that situation and they're headed for hell, but it's not my responsibility. But he didn't. Instead, God chose to give us mercy. And so we need to extend that to other people. Do you harbor bitterness or resentment or anger toward people or situations? See, that is not living a merciful life. Giving mercy to people is saying, God gave mercy to me when I don't deserve it. And I'm going to give mercy to other people even though they don't deserve it. And I'm going to choose to be kind and forgiving and compassionate towards them, no matter what. So our options are to live a life following Jesus and be merciful, 
or be like that wicked servant that Jesus talked about in Matthew 18 and face God's judgment. So I pray that today you choose to live a life of mercy and recognize God's mercy in your life. Have a great day.